Hello and welcome to our very first cooking video. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. I've never done anything like this before. So I'm starting with a very simple dish that I've made plenty of times before. And that's spaghetti bolognese. And as you can see it's all smart price as the food. Except from one item which is the vegetable oil. Alright, we've already got a um, pan on with water in ready for the spaghetti with two pinches of salt in so we just do wait for that to warm up and then we'll be putting the spaghetti in and cooking up the mince so we'll see you in a bit alright we're back and as you can see that the water is now starting to boil just a bit and in the first clip I forgot to show you the actual sauce we do buy the um, ready made bolognese sauce we normally get the home brand one but they obviously didn't have it and that was a well, this one we got now is a substitution from it but right so we're now going to put the spaghetti in so if Diane if you can just take the camera please yeah and I'll get the spaghetti under obviously I'm not going to use all of it So about half is going to do like a big plateful. Yeah, so put that in the water. Right then we get a, a pan on the oven. Let's turn that on. Yeah, just put a bit of oil in. For the mince again this is vegetable oil we use now we'll just leave that to warm up and we'll be right back as you can probably hear in the background the oil is now heated up so I'm now going to add the mince That's the mince in. We're going to let that cook through and then we'll add the other ingredients, then lastly the sauce. Oh, and as you see, the mince is cooking there nicely. So I'll stir it around a bit, get it all cooked. Shouldn't take too long now. As you can see the spaghetti is almost done. So we're going to turn the heat off that and just let it stand. And as for the mince is done now, so we're going to add the other ingredients. But first we're going to drain the oil, so we'll be right back. Alright, so that's the mince drained. So I'm now going to add a tin of kidney beans. Now I'm just draining the mushrooms. There we go. Right, so adding the mushrooms. And now the chopped tomatoes. So give that a stir. Really should have done it in a bigger pot, but doesn't matter. Alright. So they won't take long to cook, so I'm gonna add the sauce now as well. which I can't undo so I'll be right back okay so after battling the sauce and winning finally got the lid off so I'm going to put this nice looking slop uh, sauce into the pan give it another mix being careful not to spill it I think I've overdone it a bit there's only two of us eating it but I can always freeze it for another day Now 
love the sound it makes. So appetising. Right, so I'm going to put the lid back on that. And let it sit for five minutes. And then we'll come back and dish it up. Hello, welcome back to the last bit of the video. As you can see, we've really drained and plated up the spaghetti. Alright, so we're now going to put the bolognese on top, which is nice and cooked. As you can see there. One plate. So there you go, that's what we're having for dinner today. So if the um, video was boring for you. But like I say, that's our first cooking one, so not done, done this before. Easy. And yeah, like Diane just said, we've done something quick and easy. Um, with mine, I normally have some Worcester sauce and some garlic pepper. I don't put it in during the cooking because Diane don't like garlic. But um, there you go, so we're now going to go and enjoy our spaghetti bolognese. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you in the next video. Take care. Oh, and don't forget to rate, comment, or subscribe. And um, thanks we'll again. See you next time. Bye. Bye.